let's create a program that will add all the numbers from one to whatever's input using the for loop. So I do a file new project, Windows there. Oops, if I get the right keyboard. Okay, let's try it again. Example summing using the for loop. Okay, so I'm going to have a button or a label at the top. I'll have a text box. I'll have three buttons. And I'll have my answer um, down below, which will be put into a label. Okay, let me hi uh, do rectangular select and select all those and change all their fonts to 20s. There we go. And then I'll drag this down. This is going to be my answer. I have my buttons. And text box here. And my label. Okay, so that label I wanted to say. Add all the numbers from 1 to and uh, actually we put that box right next to it okay that might make more sense if I do a rectangular select on those and I resize them Now this one, I'm going to have this one say text-wise uh, by ones. And this one I'll have say by twos. And this one will say by by ten or fives. Okay. Well, I made them all the, the same uh, by doing a rectangular select. Again, if I do the rectangular select and I um, increase their width, it increases all at the same time. Now, I put them uh, below each other there, but if I have these selected, and I select all of them, then resizing it does the same thing that way. So I didn't have to put them right below each other. I was just demonstrating that. Okay. Now I'm going to use this. I need to name it. So I call that uh, TB underscore number. And this is where my answer is going to be. So I'll name that as LB underscore answer. And I'll make it invisible. So I'll set the visible property to false. And now I'm ready to put my code in there, I guess. Okay, so by ones, I need to retrieve this. So I'll double click the by ones. And um, I'm going to have my sum. Let's try it again. I'm going to have int sum is equal to zero. So I'm declaring a variable called sum and I'm setting it equal to zero. And I need to retrieve that number that was input. So I'll say int number. And then number is equal to int dot parse tb underscore number dot text. Now my for loop. I'll have four beginning parentheses int index equals one. So that's where that tells it where to start at. Continue while index is less than or equal to number. This is our Boolean condition that's checked. And then the next part tells us how we're going to increment it. So I'm going to say um, that index is equal to index plus 1. And then I'll say sum is equal to sum plus 
um, index. Now, you, instead of doing this index is equal to index plus 1, you could do index plus plus, And that increases it by 1s. But I want to show you that you can put any calculation here. You could do times 7, and it'll work. Okay, now, after we get done with our calculating our sum, then, I want to return it back to the screen. So I'll say label answer dot text is equal to sum dot to string. And then I want to make uh, the label answer visible. So I'll say visible is equal to true. Okay, let's run this. And um, add all the numbers from 1 to 5 by 1s. 5, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, that's working. So let's uh, go back and program the by twos. Now I can steal this code. So I'll copy it. And double click by twos. And very simple change at this point. Over here where it says index is equal to index plus one, I just need to change that by two. And by fives, I'll come here. Now, I've been going over here to the first position, but if I'm over here and I do my paste, you see it uh, works just fine. Why do I go over the first position? Previous versions of Visual Studio uh, caused the formatting to look askew if you didn't do that. And I'm stuck programming the way I did 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to add all the numbers from 1 to 10. Now this is going to start at 1. So when I go by 5s, let's think this through. It gives me a 7. Well, my, in, my index originally is 1. So 1 is definitely uh, one that's, that's going to be in there. And then it's going to add by 5s. So 1 plus 5 is 6. So the next uh, index value is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. Now the next one, when I add 5, is 11, which is greater than uh, 10. So it doesn't get included. Sometimes it's beneficial to actually write this out on paper, and then it makes sense why you get the results you do. Another way is for debugging purposes. If you uh, come over here and you click uh, over here in this bar, it becomes a little red. That's a breakpoint. And now if I start this, then if I put uh, 10 here, and maybe I'm thinking it's going to add 5 and, uh, or 1, 5, and 10 if I click by 5s. So if I click that, it kicks out here. And if I do debug, and I think it's F11, step into, it'll go in the next line of code. If I do another F11, now as I put my mouse over these um, variables, you see it says numbers equal to 10, which is what I expect. And sum is currently equal to 0. So I press F10. Comes here. It's doing this check. Index is 1. Number is 10. So it's coming down here. Sum is currently equal to 0. But now after I do that line of code, sum is now equal to 1. Um, because it add, added my first index. And notice what's highlighted now. So it, 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 it this starts it. This checks it through each time to the loop, and then this, after the loop is run, it'll do this index is equal to index plus 5. Now if I press F11, now if I put my mouse over index, it says 6. Because remember, originally index is 1, 1 plus 5 gives us 6. Now if I come over here, index is 6, number is 10, it's still less than. Press F10, press F10 there, currently sum is 7. It's coming over here, I press F10. Put my mouse over that, it says index is 11. So it comes over here and checks these. Index is 11, number is 10. 11 is not less than or equal to 10. So when I press F10 or F11, it um, kicks down here to this where I write out my answer. And um, then I'll go ahead and just click continue on that. Okay, and that's how you come, you get 7. So now you probably don't want to do that. I'm going to take up my break, break point off by clicking that again. You probably don't want to do that if you're going by ones and you're going up to a thousand. You don't want to sit there and do F11 over and over. Little tricks you can do with um, the breakpoint. You can put a breakpoint at certain places and then you can 
after you hit a breakpoint, you can click, uh, oh, what is it, debug, um, I guess it's start debugging. So I, if I want to check right here, so I'll put a breakpoint. And then I want to check right here, so I'll put another breakpoint. If I start it, I put 10 in here. Click by fives, kicks up that first breakpoint. If I now just click this continue, oh, it does say continue, then it'll go to the next breakpoint. So you can use clever little, little items like that. And then you can see what the value of sum was, what the value of index was. But um, if I put my mouse over index, it's not giving me anything. Index only exists within the for loop, because that's where it's declared at. So if you're trying to use index down here outside the for loop, that's why you'd be getting an error. And I'll stop that. And um, that's using the for loop to do summing.